Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the watercolor video effect inside of DaVinci Resolve 14. So this was actually added into the latest version of DaVinci Resolve. So if you go over to the effects library, you're going to see under open effects that they've actually added a lot more than just the watercolor effect. Feel free to kind of peruse these at your own leisure, but the one we're looking for is way down at the bottom under Resolve FX Stylize. So if we drop this onto any clip inside of our timeline, it's going to change the graphics so that it looks like a watercolor effect. Basically how it works is it takes some of the detail and the colors and smooths it out so that certain areas are going to be one uniform color rather than having slight color differences. Now when you pop it into your timeline you'll see basically the preview of how it's going to look in your export but if you want to modify it further you need to click on the clip in the timeline go to the inspector and there'll be a new tab here called open fx between video and audio. The main setting here that you want to mess around with is called smoothness. If you bump it closer to zero smoothness what's going to happen is the effect is going to be minimized, so at zero, it's literally just the original content. But if we smooth it up to 0 0.03, you can see that the watercolor effect becomes very dramatic and it actually becomes kind of hard to tell uh, what was originally in the scene in a lot of cases. Uh, so generally, the 0 0.01 setting is actually going to be pretty good. Now, one way you can get an even better idea of exactly how much detail is going into your scene is to hit the Show Gradient button above Smoothness. What this is going to do is it's going to color code uh, the areas which have been blurred together, kind of one uniform color as white, and the areas which still have the boundaries keeping it separated from other parts of the image, basically keeping the original shape intact, are going to be marked with these little black lines. So you can really think of these black lines as the outlines of the original image. As we decrease the smoothness, you'll notice that more of those lines come back, some of the less important ones. And if we increase the smoothness, then only the most important edges are going to remain in the final image. So just get it to the level of detail you're looking for. And you can turn off Show Gradient. Now, if you want to play the effect back in real time on the timeline, you're probably going to want to go ahead and play around with the render cache, which you can get by going up to playback, render cache, um, setting that to smart or user so that it will keep a preview rendering of the actual effect so it doesn't need to calculate it every single time you hit the play button and slowing your computer down a lot. You can also right click and you'll notice that there's some settings for render cache there as well that are clip specific. Now if you'd rather just skip the render cache, you can just click around your clip and see if it looks good at all of the parts in the clip. Just basically go frame by frame. You can get a pretty good rough idea without the cache. So that's pretty much all there is to adding in the watercolor effect inside of DaVinci Resolve for such a dramatic change in how your video can look. It's very powerful and very easy to use. So I'm going to leave it there with the final result and I will see you guys in my future video content.